Hey guys, Dags here, jumping into my first Let's Play of 2024. Um, this is the game that everybody in our Discord group chat did vote on. Um, there were several ideas up in the poll, but this is the one that won. And I'm actually really excited to play it because from what I've heard, it's a combination of HP Lovecraft and like Cthulhu mythos meets um, Sherlock Holmes or a Sherlock Holmesian type of investigator. Um, apparently it's also supposed to be similar to Call of Cthulhu. Um, so which I'm really excited to, um, share this journey with you. So we'll just jump right into it and I will stop babbling. Frosty welcome. Dear Mr. Charles Reed, as you requested, I've researched the outbursts of hysteria and visions in the city of Oakmont, Mass... Mass... Uh, I don't know how to... I can never pronounce that name. As it turns out, your assumptions were correct, as such cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oakmont, haunted by visions similar to yours. A city drowning, the presence of something great yet unknown. As luck has it, I believe we have stumbled upon the source of your ailment and the person who might be able to help you with it. Prepare yourself, then come to Oakmont as soon as you can. I will meet you here to help you on your way. Cordially, Johannes Vanderberg. Buildings in Oakmont do not have numbers. The locals know their city and don't care about newcomers' convenience. The last thing you want to hear in battle is the click of an empty gun. Don't forget to reload your weapon. Knowledge is power, earn XP to receive knowledge points, which can be spent on new abilities and the skills interface. Press up to pin evidence from the current case. Hold and you hold up and use the R stick to switch. Use crafting material to create ammo and consumables in inventory. Some deductions in the mine palace have an alternative interpretations leading to different conclusions. Oakmont is steeped in tradition. Anybody looking or acting out of place will instantly be pegged as a newcomer. <laughs> Oakmont keeps its mouth shut. Padlocks and weak planks can be broken with gunfire or a melee attack. There we go. Select evidence in the casebook and press triangle to pin it on the map. That was interesting. Right. Can I not spin it? Oh, there we go. 
I was using the left, the right joystick instead of the left one. I never have to use it, but something tells me I will. Right. Letters from J. Vanderberg. Dear Mr. Charles Reed. Oh, I read that one already. That was in the loading. Press to activate. Skills so far. Right. Map. Inventory. Good to know. Uh, Army issue bold M11. Easy to handle, easy and to carry concealed. Privatized weapon of choice uses point thirty eight pistol rounds. Standard army issue first aid kit containing a set of bandages and a shot of strong. The casebook contains your main case, which reflects your overall story progress. You can work on more than one side quest at a time. Cases contain information about investigations in form of evidence. Some pieces have evidence of evidence have icons that hint of what action to perform. Dialogue, use item, take photo, search archives, and search location. Evidence contains crucial information about what to do and where to go next. To get evidence, interact with objects and people, combine clues in your mind palace, and take photos. A white frame in the camera viewfinder indicates if you are aiming correctly. Read the evidence closely to identify important locations, then pin it on the map to plan your route. Pin evidence on the heads-up display to keep track of your current goal. Press up to toggle on and off. Hold up to switch pinned evidence with a right stick. So I guess hold up and click right stick to switch. You can also place evidence on the map and the heads-up display from the casebook screen. Select evidence and use pin and place on map. Street names and districts are shown on the map from the beginning. Most other landmarks and points of interest have to be discovered. Institutions with archives, landmarks, fast travel points, destinations are activated. When you access the phone booths around the city, that's good to know. Investigation scenes, icons appear when location is discovered. Color the icon color of the icon changes according to the investigation progress. Icon is removed if the case is complete. Investigation scenes, key evidence collected in yellow. Ev investigation scenes, all evidence collected in green. X marks the spot, place marks on the map, use this to plan your route or note places of interest. Evidence marks are shown for the currently selected case only. Select another case in the casebook to see and place relevant evidence marks. Generic red marks are always shown regardless of the selected case. The mind's eye allows you to see the unseen. Use mind's eye whenever you see distortion in the corners of the screen and hear a ringing sound. It may reveal images of the past, illusions, omens, or tracks that are otherwise invisible. Images of the past have an activation zone to see above. Hold to see the full picture. Follow the omens. Mind's eye can reveal omens that guide your way. Follow them to find new evidence. Retrocognition allows you to understand events what happened in the past. Inspect enough evidence on the scene and a vision will emerge. Step into it and find all critical scenes. X marks the scenes in chronicle order to gain new evidence. So that's kind of like Detroit Become Human, where you can reconstruct what happened. The Mind Palace. Investigation of the main case reveals clues for your Mind Palace. Press the Option button to open the casebook and switch to Mind Palace. Combine pairs of relevant clues to get evidence. Crucial information for the case. It's added to the casebook. 
Deductions. These explain nuances of the case and are displayed in the mind palace. Some deductions are, can be interpreted differently. This can lead to different conclusions. Discover all possible conclusions to fully understand the case, but it's up to you to how to solve it. That's interesting. Archives. You will often need to look for useful information within various city archives. Archives contain topical information, for example, city hall, city hall holds general data about citizens and organizations, while info about specific categories of people, like criminals or patients, can be found in police or hospital records. In the casebook, evidence may have a hint icon indicating you need to do some archive research. In the archive interface, select the piece of evidence you wish to investigate, then choose three criteria to search for relevant information. A search conducted with the correct evidence and criteria will result in new information being added to the casebook. Padlocks and weak planks can be broken with a shot or melee attack. Combat. If you are crouched, hostiles are less likely to detect you. That's good to know. Enemies may harm your sanity as well as health. Some enemies have unique abilities that may come as an unpleasant surprise, but most have weak points too, so great. Shambler's going to be back, or some cousin of it. Ammo and supplies are scarce. Scavenging, crafting, and crest rewards are the only source of supplies. Guns are not going to reload themselves. Diving. Uh, looks like an exclamation mark. The harpoon stuns hostile creatures for a short time. Flares light your way and can distract hostile creatures. R1, if damaged, press hold to slowly recover your diving suit's pressure. That's good to know. This is gonna get me into a lot of stress. I just know it. Fun and chaos, I'm sure. But going to be stressy. Alright. Aim, items, pin selected evidence on the screen, hold then cycle. Mine's eye is down. Oh, I can always come back to the tutorial. That's good. Movement, camera, flashlight, interact, loot, crouch, reload, climb, casebook, melee, run when aiming, fire, weapon, use gadget, and the map. All right. Place on map. I don't have a map yet. Fold in camera. Key evidence collected. Camera is R3. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now let's just zoom. Stop trying to hit the wall. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Can't pick it up. Powder, coil, spring, shell casings. 
can I change the... I don't think I can. So it's going to be over the shoulder only. That's a weird looking fish. Th oh, hang on. How did it say to activate that? Oh, there you go. Once you're zoomed in, then it's art. So L2 to zoom into the whatever the thing is, and then R2 to take the picture. Evidence collected. Lore. A trophy plate. Plate with a strange fish. Looks very lifelike. Yeah. Figure this out as we go along. Can I go in here? No. Right. Outside we go. So we're on the docks. Let's go talk to this guy. Now get out. Oh, that's nice of you. Triangle to climb. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Uh... Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. Um, what's the deal with this city? Reaching I don't know. Oakmont can... was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Reed. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. Tell me about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks. And the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? Nice suit. I think it'll cycle back to the different prompts as long as I don't progress the story. I don't know. We'll figure it out. That's in there. Eye-catching suit. Thank you, Mr. Reed. A mere flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. I take it you're a big fan of yellow. Well, I have a particular weakness for it. Call it a personal quirk. Okay. You said you know someone who can help me with my... problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. Where is Robert? How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. What's he like? Can you tell me a little about Mr. Throgmorton? A remarkable creature. Scion of a robust bloodline. A philanthropist, a scholar, 
and the patron of the famous Oakmont University. A man of great ambitions and even greater ego. Do not make him wait. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. How do I get there? What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Thank you. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular. Its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. Gathering seeds of thought, like moths drawn to a flame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Thank you. Well, that's it for now, I think. Thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Map. All right. So we have our map. I printed it out of copy for myself because I need to be able to see it as I go along and I'm pretty sure this game doesn't have the mini map function. Johannes Vandenberg reports that he has found the source of magnetic visions. Alright. So this one, what is this? That's probably where the boat is. That's all right. Case book. Find Robert Throgmorton. Johannes Vanderberg said that I need to find a person in the Oakmont port by the name of Robert Throgmorton. Supposedly he can help me with my visions to key at the Devil's Reef Hotel. All right. We'll meet again, Mr. Reed. What is this? That's an octopus. Alright. Okay, so it shows me roughly where I am. Evidence collected on the Charon. So I think I need to go here. All right. Hey, what's up, my dude? Can I get up here and talk to you? No? Under the keel bar exit. Uh, that's probably Mr. Throgmorton. I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well... Perhaps we can help each other. What happened to your son? And he also looks like an um, 
from the planet of the apes, one of the apes. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. But he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. Innsmouth. Yay! Who are the Innsmouthers? I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now, those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The port. Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. That's pleasant. Let's just jump right into it. Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. Certain royal of a primate? Variety? I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth, a ridden city, will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. I can find him. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera. You have a point, newcomer. Vera. Sorry, did you just say... Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. Tell me about the case. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Dane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house, and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Where's the house? Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. Right. You mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. Thank you. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. 
Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Alright. Fisherman's house. Hello. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. And keep your hands where I can see them. Can I go in? Flashlight. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, it's squinty! Slimy bits. This third person over the shoulder view is gonna drive me nuts. I just know it. Take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Ah. Oh, my head. What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? What happened? Let's start with who are you. Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so I started fishing. It was out of starve. What happened? I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and, okay, my head began to burst. And he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me, ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Who is Kay? Who is this Kay you keep mentioning? Outsider, show some respect. Kay is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I didn't know. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea where Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. What happened to Paul? Do you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. Okay, have mercy on his soul. Time to go, thank you. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, Detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or... I kill him. I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Well, try it anyway. Find Palace Clue. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Okay, I 
can just I don't have to have it lit up in, in white to take pictures. Looks like his head was caved in. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Oh, hello. What the hell was that? not liking this. What is going on here? E. Is that an R-O-U-S? Oh no. Cultist. What on earth? Do I need to like move out of the way or something? Confused right now. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. A big old slug, what are you? Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Pretty blade. Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. Cthulhu. Retrocognition. Press for more information. Oh, hello. Take this, ape face. <laughs> Yeah, run! Nothing in here. <gasps> uh, uh, what's happening? Okay, let's see what we have here. Take this, ape face. <laughs> yeah, run! Take this, ape face. <laughs> Yeah, run! Take 
this, ape face. <laughs> them in a crap that's what it did. Did I miss something? Take this, ape face. <laughs> One. <gasps> Take this, ape face. Yeah, run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Will Hammond's testimony. Will Hammond, a fisherman, lives with three other colleagues. Barry, Paul, and an inn's mother named Louis Flynn. Will told me that Barry found the unconscious Albert Throgmorton and brought him to their house. Before leaving to inform Robert Throgmorton, Albert woke up, started making horrible sounds. His hysteria seemed to spread to Will, who began to see fission similar to mine. When he recovered, he found Paul dead on the floor, and there's no trace of Albert or Louis. He doesn't remember anything beyond that. House Brawl. A fisherman brought unconscious Albert Throgmorton to, the ho to his house and left. When Albert woke up, he caused an outburst of hysteria and attacked the rest of the fishermen. One of the fishermen shot him and Albert fled through the hole in the wall. Alright. One. All right, so regain consciousness. This one, then this one, no. This one. This one, and this one. Okay, hang on. Albert returned unstable. He attacked the fisherman. Names about their Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of the Throgmorton. That could be a reason to hate them. 
Albert Throgmorton was dangerous and posed a threat to Louis Flynn and his fellow fishermen. Get back there. Albert Throgmorton spread some of the psychic influence which made everyone suffer near hysteria. I can track down Albert. Albert and the fisherman named Louis fled the scene after the fight in the house. I can track them using my supernatural sense. Go back in the house. Talk to this guy. I've said everything I know. Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. But there was no dog. Bullets with, and what the hell are you? Cthulhu bits, that's what you are. Book. The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Ooh, it's squidgy. Let's see what you find, newcomer. Choo choo. Ahem. <clears throat> Metal scraps. to find. So that's what an in's mouther looks like. Looks like a finch. Looks like a fishy dude. So that's what an in's mouther looks like. Why would they put Throgmorton in the in's mouther's room? I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Probably did at one point. Five cards short of a full house. All evidence collected. Yeah. Oh, that hurt. I gave you clear instructions, did I not? Oh, shut up. Follow the elements. Okay, so I have to be in the mind's eye for it. Alright. We go this way. And 
he was running and running and then so the fisherman pursued Albert even let off a few shots So then he ran this way. He got really weak. Even though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. This way. And in this house. Let me see what I picked up. Bloodstained note. Lewis, please just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. We don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping about the port. Don't worry, I struck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a more steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest. Peter. The blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. Alright. Quit with the wrist bearing in my ear, thank you. What did I just throw? No idea what I just threw. Oh, that's lovely. One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Key One evidence. fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Over fled when wounded. Lewis may have wanted to kill Albert outright because he was a Throgmorton rather than just drive him off. Who's maybe at the bar? That is. Albert was murdered, shot in the head, impaled onto hooks, and then hidden. The murder was deliberate.
Can I investigate you? No, I can't. How do you craft things? All right, let's see. Blood stain note. Torn piece of jacket. Stained with blood. Found it alongside the blood stain note in the warehouse where Albert, Albert Throbmorton fled. Found the body of Albert Throbmorton in the basement of a warehouse not far from a fisherman's house. He was fatally shot in the head, impaled on hooks, and then hidden. Lewis, the innsmouther that killed Albert Throg Martin, may be hiding at the bar at Oakmont Port. It said I found everything here, but I still want to look around. So far, we've explored a good chunk of the area. Let's see if we can find the guy at the bar, and then we'll probably call it there for today. Inventory. Oh, craft. Can't craft anything else? No? Okay. Let's go find it. That's not a comfortable sound in my brain. What's upstairs? A locked door. gentle touch you. That's not a pleasant statement. Feel the gentle touch of the tentacles, it says. What's that? That's a massive rat. Gross. Your son is all... Let's start with this. Mr. Throg Morton, I'm afraid I have bad news. No. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. I'm sorry for your loss. My condolences, Mr. Throckmorton. I had hoped for a happier outcome. Your condolences will not bring him back. So much of our blood spilt for nothing. So much effort in vain. My poor Albert. <sighs> Tell me you know who did it. I want to look him in the eyes. Make him beg for mercy. I... Uh... I'm not going to lie to him, but I think I need to talk to him first. So let's say I can't be sure yet. I don't know exactly. I have some suspects, but I need to investigate further. What kind of private eye are you? A thorough one. When I find him, I'll tell you. Fine. No one leaves the port until then. Find me that dirt bag, and I'll help you with anything you need. All right. There's the bar.
There it is. Oh, that's an uncomfortable squishy sound. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Got a spare bullet, fella? I ain't eaten in days. Sorry. You look familiar, but old Billy hasn't seen you around. Stay alert! Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. Ugh, I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Hey, knock it off! Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? Information. I've seen some unsettling creatures around. Like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> So you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are, but consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Keep your gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember. Better to be a coward and live, than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. You want him gone? I can help, or you're harboring a criminal. You want him gone. As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is, I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throgmorton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over, and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me? Throck. That would explain the blood. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have him. So, he's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise to deal with him. Once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. Thank you and goodbye. Bye. Come. Come closer, troubled soul. Let me tell you what your future holds. You're some kind of... Uh fortune teller yes my dear yes oh it's so clear your path holds many surprises newcomer do tell really like what not so fast newcomer I see many things for a small fee I'll tell you some of them all right how much a dollar <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the flood, Oakmonter's deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, and bullets. And I'll make it easier for you. I don't smoke. All right, one bullet. Let's hear what my future holds. Good. Let me focus. The sea will be generous in the coming days. Many gifts delivered, and many will regret partaking. I don't think I follow. I see old and new, a hard heart against an iron will. Whoever wins, you win too. But you'll only see that from inside a metal cage. And, and tall pillars circled by the dead. A race from one to the next, as time itself laughs. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. You are welcome. I can't wait to see what you do. Intriguing. 
Trophy earned, tempting fate. Most maybe at the bar. And there's the key. More mythos. Fortune teller's prophecy. The sea will be generous in that. Do, 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 do. Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Ugh. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. How did it... Um, let's start with... Why do you look like that? What kind of... Uh, why do you... Y your face, it's, uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Wanna spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I... I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the sea. You're gonna see a lot of us here. So you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. Duly noted. Start at the beginning. What happened? We... We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mary'd gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Mary dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving the sun. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. Why'd you kill him? You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. Why do you hate them? I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. They looked up. Uh, what's a grand family? You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? Hmm. So you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah. A newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head hunters of Oakmont called the grand families. There's the carpenters who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. 
I wasn't myself. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reeve. Don't tell Frogmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest, have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. I won't tell him. Everyone seems to agree there's been an outbreak of madness around these parts. I'm inclined to believe you fell victim to it, too. Plus, it seems heartless to tear apart a family after what you've been through already. Oh, thank you, Mr. E. Thank you. That said, the port's still closed. What will you do? Hide here, I guess. I don't have a choice. The streets are flooded with police. Now make something up to tell Throgmorton. Leave as soon as you can. Thank you again, sir. I won't forget this. Please, I told you the truth, I swear. You want a drink? Sure. Mine palace. Wrong thing. Found Lewis Flynn, the Innsmouth there, a fisherman who killed Albert Throgmorton, hiding at the local bar. He admitted he was at the crime scene, but can't remember how he killed Albert. He claims he was under mental influence, just like the other fishermen at the house, and was not in control of himself. I can either tell Lewis's whereabouts to Throgmorton or lie. <coughs> Lewis was aware of what he was doing or he was mentally affected. I think whichever one I choose is the one that impacts it like he realized that he's a Throgmorton but he was affected by the hysteria and let's go with hysteria what is this Lewis killed Albert Throgmorton and while under some sort of mental influence he couldn't control couldn't control his actions and thus can't be blamed for Albert's death I could try and cover for him, or else Robert Throgmorton will have his head. Ugh, I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port club. The port is closed by order of Robert Throgmorton. Back off. All right, time to go back and find him. That ring compass on the top of the screen is going to drive me nuts. It's not like the, yes, give me the compass mark. Oh no, the compass mark is just telling me where I need to go.
time to make a decision. Murder is dead at the... You know what, let's ask about the strange creatures first. Mr. Throgmorton, now, uh, I've encountered something... Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some unusual creatures, and they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them, but we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, I like that firsthand. Try to avoid them when possible. And when you can't, keep your weapons handy. Alright, so... I don't... I don't feel like I should lie because that'll probably come back to bite me. But I'll feel bad for outing him. Worst case scenario, I can always play the game again. Uh, you know what? The white lie. We're, we're going to go with the white lie this time. And see just how badly it comes back to bite me in the ass. I tracked the murderer down, but he was attacked by those things prowling the back alleys. And they tore him apart. It was that Innsmouth or fisherman, Lewis. He was covered in your son's blood that may have attracted the beasts. Are you certain the body is his? Beyond any doubt. All that's left of him is a heap of flesh and this scrap of cloth. It's from his jacket. He must ask his friends. Alas, this was my revenge to exact, not some wild beasts. Something must be done about those pests. Still, justice has been served. This isn't closure, but at least I know now the story. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Kay, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? I... I think I'm going mad, Mr. Throgmorton. I see things. Visions. And I needed to stop. I was drawn here, or guided, or I don't know. But I believe the source of this madness is here, in Oakmont. You're not wrong, Mr. Reed. An inexplicable hysteria spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Why expedition? A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness have the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. Any link? You think the flood is natural? Is the flood unnatural? You mentioned the flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened defied scientific explanation. Any discoveries so far? Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the flood, many Oakmonters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. A sleeping giant, drowned streets, and a voice calling from the depths. Her words exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, <coughs> the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It 
does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. Hmm. I probably won't be able to backtrack about this, so yes. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. Okay. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and... Albert, when you've finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. Hook, line, and sinker trophy earned. Where's my map? Alright, zoom out. Cover side, Old Grove. Throgmorton manor. Alright. Zoom in. Hillside and Dun Sun. Casebook. The key to the headquarters. Quarters. Robert Throgmorton gave me a key to the expedition's headquarters. It is in northern Coverside at the crossroad of Asher and Hubert. Robert Throgmorton funded an expedition to discover the origin of the mass hysteria gripping Oakmont. The expedition was to explore the seabed near Oakmont. Contact with the expedition was soon lost. Albert Throgmorton was the only known survivor. He was subsequently murdered. I was hired to find any other expedition members, dead or alive. He will be waiting for my report in his manner. Right, so it was Asher and what? Asher and Hubert. There's Hubert. There's Asher. So it's this general area. That's what he said, right? Crossroad of Asher and Hubert. So it's in one of these buildings up over here. Alright. I think this boat is will, will take me to the Alright. Anything else I can investigate over here? <clears throat> OK. 
Okay, so it's near the police station. So I have to go, where am I now? So up from the port. And then... Grim right, Haven Bay. That's unpleasant. Is that going to happen often? Lost at sea, Robert Throgmorton founded an expedition to discover the origin of the mass hysteria gripping Oakmont. I was... I already read that already. We have traced the recent cases of mass hysteria to mass a thingamajig. Steeped in tradition. Read that already. The city contains many barricaded areas infested with monsters. A daring looter could find great treasures inside. Fleeing is often a better option. Recent cataclysmic flood left the city's poorer neighborhoods a sudden ruin, ensuring ensuing chaos. Most of the Lockwoods vanish after the flood, leaving the Throgmortons, the Carpenters, as the two remaining grand families. Day wear. All right, what do we have? Unburdened newcomer, wind coat, vacationist, <laughs> gangster, king's robes, day wear, man of science, fisherman, police envoy, plague doctor, <coughs> master sleuth. Cultist and Vishivanka. With the backpack, without the backpack. Kind of like the daywear one. Laudanum. Tincture of opium, soothes all ailments, add to any spirits or tonic. No matter how much of this I chug down, the visions always return. That's not a good sign. Shell casings. First aid kit. Plea for help. Dear Mr. Reed, I understand you're the private eye that caught the murderer in the port. My life is in danger and I cannot trust anyone in this city. 
Please come to my room, which is just opposite yours. I'm in despair. My studies have drawn the attention of vile forces. They stalk me and will take me soon. I have cast my lot and am beyond saving, but the seven books must be saved at any cost. Even if I'm gone, find my notes there. This knowledge must not be lost. It could be our kind's last hope for enlightenment. Please be the bearer of light, of this light, for I have failed. Charles W. Reed, 32117, USN. All that we see or seem is just a dream within a dream. The whole quote is actually, is all that we see or seem. They, sh they phrased it. Never like again, they say. My Diary, Part 1. I don't know what exactly sank the USS Cyclops, only remember the screams and the metal creaking, water filling the deck, and my headache, the worst I've ever had. I found myself fo among the floating seaweed, drowning. A nearby piece of boat helped me survive and reach the shore on a small island. They found me on it later, starving, half-mad, and babbling about the ancient ruins and their denizens. The officials said none of what I thought I'd seen was real. But my memories are true. My strange powers, gained after that ordeal, prove it. I found something horrible on that island. Something old, and dark, and slithering. And still it haunts me. Crew of the Cyclops. Semper Fortis, brothers. Forever strong. Mr. Reed, you are the rare example of a man who treated one of my kind human humanly, and I feel I have to repay the debt to you. Take this as a friendly piece of advice. Run. Save your life and leave this talk city to the depths. Don't dig into its secrets, for they are not worth it. There's nothing good here. Nothing good left here. I believe you can find a way to escape. Please heed my words, Lewis Flynn. all these letters on my mails. Mr. Reed, it seems you have overexerted yourself while conducting the investigation for Mr. Throgmorton. Forgive me for the audacity, but I brought you to the Devil's Reef while you were unconscious. Please take more care of yourself in the future. I won't be there for you every time. Johannes. No mirror? Oh, there it is. It's kind of creepy. A very gross looking bathroom. Mystic Tomes. Let's go across the hall, shall we? Hey, look, I get a nice fancy nameplate on my door. Metal scrap shell casing. locked or broken. <clears throat> Local women were talking about a ruined house in the central cover side near the radio tower on the crossing of Landing Avenue and Kingsport. They said the ghost of the house owner and his family still read the unholy book they kept. Several newcomers who tried to settle in those ruins have gone mad. Book in the bank. Talking with locals is never easy, but this old chap was one of the queerest yet. He was happy to talk about the book, but only laughed when I proposed to buy it. I left it in the most guarded place in the city, and paid enough to keep it there until the world ends. 
If it is abandoned after the flood, even better. Ignorance is the best guardian. I'm guessing he meant the abandoned, abandoned bank building in North Advent on Forefather Street between Helog and Windolf. Alas, it would be too dangerous to go there myself. So anything that seems to have the uh, the pound sign or the tic-tac-toe board on it, or the hashtag for anybody who's been on the internet since, you know, the 2000s and forward, um, is a point of interest. Waiting book. Building the church was his redemption. Day after day he worked without payment. Carrie? Excuse me, carrying stones and putting them in the moist soil of Salvation Harbor. At night, when he returned to his house beyond the church, he could not sleep. The book his ancestors brought across the ocean called. When the church was built, the priest found himself hanged on the bell ropes. But the book is still waiting for someone to come and read it. His church is in central Salvation Harbor on Old Church Road, between Seven Oaks and Winheim. Still has a bad fame, and no one wants to live there even after the flood. Bewitched Tome The local legends may be more than mere superstition. A dozen witches were hanged on a huge apple tree that still grows near the cider mill. Among these documents is a confession. One of the witches said the devil himself granted them a book with words of power. This book has mortal eyes waiting for the witches to be reborn and return to claim it. The witch who wrote this confession lived in Eastern Reed Heights, somewhere north of the intersection of Communion Road and Museum Avenue. Could the book still be hidden there? The Tome of the Mare Fishmen talk of the place near the Blackwood Manor, on the southern part of Whisper Street, where meetings occur in the dead of night. The locals don't like this part of Eastern Grimhaven Bay, because they seem to fear those who gather near the half-built sh half ships. They say a certain book is read at these meetings, a cursed tome that makes people go so crave the sea's touch that they go and drown in the ocean. The one reading the book stands on a cursed boat that sinks in the fog. Those who saw it touch the shore have either gone mad or disappeared. Oh, there's another one. The wheel tome. I had a dream so real... It still makes my hands shake. A huge Ferris wheel rose amidst the city. People got on and rode it higher and higher before jumping off at its peak. As the pile of corpses grew bigger, the crowd pushed me to the wheel. Then I saw a man with a leather bag. He was standing in the center of the wheel and reading from a book. His awful dirge was making the wheel rotate and dragging the crowd to their slaughter. Could this vision be real? I know there's a Ferris wheel at the park in Western Oak Grove near Century Avenue and Beacon Street, but where could the book be? Interesting. The Nightmares. I boarded up the windows and locked the door. They're just men, the Yellow King's gang. They can't get here now. Now there's only me. Me and these nightmares. A little longer and I'll figure them out. So is Johannes a kingsman? <sighs> the door won't budge. Keep it down. Mr. Archer, I've seen you dragging things into your room. Mind the floors. I'll make you pay for any scratches you leave, your landlord. Let's go upstairs and take a look. many coincidences. So the lighthouse is out, several ships have gotten lost at sea, and some are now decorating the city's beaches. There's one thing, but now there's an enterprising fellow at the city port hiring salvagers to recover ships. He's turning a tidy profit from selling them. Can't be a coincidence, need to look into it. 
Now, if only the city wasn't so impossible to navigate. I agree with that sentiment. I mean, the map is pretty clearly outlined, so it's not... At least the map that I found. So I can look at it as well. Found gunpowder. Let's grab some gunpowder. Or some bullets. Hello. I'm going to get turned around in here and Grim's going to laugh at me. I haven't figured out what those two bars are beside the camera. Maybe it's energy. Finally, you're awake. Gotta tell you though, mister. You wanna stay on here? You stop making all that noise. I'm sorry, what noise? Noise? What what noise are you talking about? I expect my guests to be respectable. Moans, chanting, all that kind of thing. It stops, alright? Uh, I didn't realize I was doing anything. <sighs> Got any proof it was me? It could have been one of my neighbors. I slept like a rock. I, I didn't hear a thing. <sighs> That's exactly what a newcomer would say. Your neighbors are respectable people and would never do such a thing. Don't think your yellow-clad patron means you get away with everything. You're not exactly friendly with your guests. Are we the ones keeping you in business? All these newcomers after the flood, they're stark raven mad. What do you mean? You can't imagine the crazy notes and books I find after they move out. Only thing they're good for is lighting the kitchen stove. Can I have a look? I knew it. I tell you no one sane would be interested. And you want to take a look? Well, fine, fine. Take what you wish. Thank you. To my nephew, my dear Victor, how is Oakmont treating you? Should you require any support, the Blackwoods will be happy to help you. I've arranged for that. Regarding your question, I don't know where Robert went. Sadly, only that he did not stay in Innsmouth. Perhaps there is hope he didn't perish in that cursed raid. Please take good care of the hotel. Plenty of our relatives were interested in the property, but you're still my favorite nephew. I know the Devil's Reef is in good hands. Kind regards, Aunt Portia. Note about the hobo signs. Darren, I think I'm finally starting to figure this out. Locals use signs to mark special places. That you knew already. Kind of like the secret signs hobos use all over the country. What I learned is that this tradition dates back to the times well before the flood. I've been meaning to find out the meaning of some of them. You've seen the crooked H-shaped signs on doors around town. That means the house is inhabited. The crosshatch grid sign marks certain caches of useful items. See, that's what I said. The V-shaped signs for barricaded, dangerous places. Good cache there, they say. Still haven't figured out that spiral-shaped sign, though. You'll have to investigate for yourself. 
And if you see a sign with a cross and three Ks, reach for the gun. K. To Walter. K, help you if I hear you're peddling your cheap, affordable living again. I could live with you renting out beast-ridden flophouses, but you're cutting into my profit. Don't make that mistake. I know you're on the fish market, and I have dangerous people living here that I can send after you. You've been warned. Thick. Well, that's a pretty strict threat. notes. The hotel owner allowed me to look through the weird notes he found in the rooms of disappeared newcomers. Among them I found several pages from a diary of a man describing his life in Oakmont. He suffered from visions and marked the places where they happened. Was he trying to avoid them? Today I fell asleep on the street. I'm sure it's connected to my visions somehow because I felt the same nausea and headache as before they strike. It happened in Coverside, near the road, uh, the corner of Tanner Street and Old Church Road. I felt dizzy and my mouth was full of a bittersweet taste. I saw a woman with kind eyes giving me a drink and whisper something. Immediately after that I fell asleep and spent nearly half the day lying in the dirt like a hobo. It's a miracle no one stole anything from me. In mother notes. Local inns mother scared me a lot. I've never seen a place with so many ill people. Their faces pursue me even in visions. Recently, I was in the northern part of Grimhaven Bay, walking down Whisper Street. I barely made it to Hubert Avenue when the visions came. I stood among many inns mothers disguised as one of them and listened. Their re leader began reading, to read the story of a captain participating in pagan rites, copulating with savage witches and beasts, Bringing sacrifices. I still rem remember his name. Obed. Terrible fetus. After this vision, I shake in fear at the sound of a child's cry. It happened in Western Reed Heights on Washington Street. I passed Aben Street and was heading towards Oak, but saw it. The thing running so fast I didn't understand what it was. It jumped from the window, and the vision struck me immediately. I saw a man, a doctor, hiding in the room. He was writing something with a shaking hand, and something like a last will. Then I saw the thing stalking him. A fetus on thin, pointy legs, with a little face full of evil and hatred. It's shrieking, I can't forget. These are really neat. I can't help but turn around at any noise after what I saw yesterday. I walked down the Murdoch Avenue in Western Advent, near Oak Street. I was hit with an excruciating migraine. My nose started to bleed and the visions came. I saw one man writing a letter and another about to strike him from behind. Somehow I was both the spectator and the sitting man, but no matter how I cried out the warnings or tried to move, it didn't work. It seems I lost consciousness when the killer hit the man's head, and it took me several hours to get back to the hotel after. voices from the pipes. Hey, it's Pennywise. I'm afraid of the bathroom and kitchen sink. Each time I want to wash my hands, I tremble in fear. What if they'll talk to me? This began after a vision in Western Reed Heights near the crossing of Avon, Ward, and Baker. I saw a man naked, covered in blood, in a room without doors or windows, surrounded by dark holes of the pipes. He was cutting himself, piece by piece, feeding those copper mouths. They were whispering with voices, so sweet and promising, but full of hunger and hatred. How could he believe them? How could he even escape? And had they noticed me? Static in ears. I was walking the Lombard Street in Eastern Reed Heights when it happened again. It's not just a vision, but a noise. Hissing radio static, growing louder and louder. Voices from afar were lost in it, crying desperately. I tried not to show how bad it was. I was afraid to reveal it to the locals. The images came after I passed Bullock Street towards Helig. 
The hissing flooded my mind, and I saw a man surrounded by radios, talking to them. He was dying. I felt it. And when it happened, the vision was gone. Call the ocean. Lord. So these are different. Oh, okay. So each individual side quests. I thought they were just, um, You some more? I'm watching you, newcomer. Of course you are. Just look me in case in the case book to see the clues. This actually brings me a lot closer to where I want to be anyway. That's good. Good, good, good. Well, guys, I think I'm actually going to leave it there because there's so much going on. Um, I've made several discoveries so far, and I'm really enjoying the game. Hopefully you guys are enjoying uh, the process of going along with me. And as always, please leave a like, comment, and... Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to us. It does help the channel a lot. And as always, see you in the next one. Bye, guys!